Hello Pisces, thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 23rd of October. This week begins in the most dramatic of ways. The Sun and Mars are both on the move. Now they've been more recently forging a great angle anyway, but that just continues, but in different locations. The Sun moves into your sister water sign of Scorpio. Now here he's going to be joining with the energies of Jupiter, which moved into this area for a 12-month uh, stay two weeks ago. Now, this is all about growth. It's all about travel. It's about new ideas, knowledge. It's about being more curious. It's about not accepting the status quo. It's about higher education, potentially. It's about overseas connections, business. It could be that you're going to want to, uh, at last, uh, organise that holiday of a lifetime, or if you feel that you've never really fulfilled your academic ability, maybe this is the time to sign up for that college course. But whatever you decide to do, and whatever your current circumstances, it's all about stepping outside the reality as it has been, and being much more daring. This may ask you to be more individualistic, more pioneering. It may ask you to be uh, a little bit less conscious of what other people think of you, a bit more thrusting. Now Mercury's in this area too, and forging a, a great angle to Neptune in your zodiac sign. So your ability to absorb ideas at both a practical but also a psychological level are going to be very, very strong. So the way you travel at the moment can be from the comfort of your home, it can be doing something much more uh, physical. It doesn't really matter, it's up to you. But don't let anything prevent you from leaping beyond what is now to what you'd really like to be. But all this can create quite a lot of change, but change can be very exciting. And with Mars moving on Monday into the most passionate, perhaps even sensual part of your horoscope, the following six weeks could see some changes in your love life too. Now Venus is already in this area, and if you are wanting a much more intimate existence, the freedom love inside of the Sun's conjunction with Jupiter could spring you out of an unsatisfactory relationship, but in time propel you towards a much uh, more passionate and exciting one. Of course, there's always processes in life. We don't necessarily get what we want immediately, and sometimes we have to let go of the past. But if you can live in the present and really uh, be a, a lot more risk-taking, essentially, I think this week can be all the more exciting. There is a quarter moon on Friday, which suggests you can end this week feeling, feeling a lot more sensitive. And one issue that you might ordinarily turn the other cheek to could actually get blown a little bit out of proportion. So do try to stay rooted. Any form of knowledge that's verified and meaningful is going to be very important to your decision making at this time. So linking with people who are wise, experienced or professionals could be a very smart thing to do. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now. Hello, thank you so much for watching my video. I'd love you to join me at my Horoscope Ace app. You can find this at www.horoscope-ace.com. You can use it through Android, iOS, Apple or Facebook. Check out your Ascendant or your Moon site or download your free birth chart. There's all your favourite videos, plus there are daily, weekly, monthly and yearly horoscopes for general, love, Chinese and Indian astrology. If your passion is tarot, there's my brilliant three card money or love tarot readings too. And it's all there at www.horoscope-ace.com. Thank you.